Hey guys, welcome to day number one. Today I'm with Miriam and we're going to be talking about why. Why do you want to participate in the fast of Daniel? Why do you guys want the Holy Spirit? Do you really want it? Miriam, tell me, what or how many fast have you participated in? Four. Four. Why so many? <laughs> because in the four that I, that I participated, I just did it to participate. You know, um, Bishop or the pastor would say, if everyone wants to participate, just, but I didn't, I didn't know what was the Holy Spirit or anything like that. I just did it to participate. Right. So then what made the last one, that's the one where you received the Holy Spirit, yeah. right? What made that one different from all the other ones? Did you do something differently or what happened? Um, little by little, it started getting my attention. What was the Holy Spirit? How did it work? Who, who was it? You know? So then I started to get interested in it. And the fifth one, you know, I, I changed and I did everything I had to do. And nice. yeah. <laughs> All right. So then what or how has the Holy Spirit helped you? Any, make any tough decisions or anything like that? Um, with counseling people, mm -hmm. I, the Holy Spirit directs you. Like, He gives you, um, how do I say this? Like, He gives you, he, you don't see the physical, the physical of the people. You see, right. like, the spiritual side. So, in there, the Holy Spirit is, like, guiding you and the problems of the people, anything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. So, He gives you words. He gives you yeah. that, yeah. that way to talk to the people. Guidance, yeah. Because a lot of youth, they don't understand or they probably think that they don't need the Holy Spirit because, you know, we're young, we don't have problems. Yeah. But, I mean, we can be a great tool to help other people, right? Yeah. To help them leave their life to work differently, to take different decisions. A lot of times, the youth that are in the church, maybe you don't have a lot of friends outside, but you have a group of friends in here and you try and fit in. But that's not going to work with God because... If you're physically with friends fitting in, you might not be yeah, spiritually fitting, fitting in. in. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so there's a problem. You're still going to have some sort of clash there. You're not going to understand why you're doing this. Yeah. Oh, like I was telling you, a lot of people or a lot of youth, maybe they can't afford to pay their phone, yeah. right? So they can be three weeks or one month without a phone. But that's different from participating in the fast. Yeah. Uh, what do you recommend that they can do? Um, music. I used to love a lot of music, mm -hmm. so when the fast would come, I would um, do a playlist for the 21 days, meaning like church songs and mm -hmm. songs like that. So, cool. Yeah. In case you don't have a playlist, yeah. <laughs> well, we have we will have Karen Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. through on Spreaker.com, our FJU podcast, and you can listen to her playlist. All right, you guys, you can play it over and over again. Anything just to get you in the spirit and to make this fast different from all the previous ones. So see you guys tomorrow with day number two of this fast of Daniel.